Matthew and I are newlyweds, and we've been married for eight months, so we're still working on our communication skills. Sometimes when we're in an argument or a disagreement, I express to Matthew how his actions or what he did, how it makes me feel, and instead of acknowledging that, he instead brings up something similar that I did to him in a previous argument, and he doesn't acknowledge my feelings. So my question is how can I get Matthew to validate my feelings and not bring up past hurts when we're in an argument or disagreement? Okay. Okay, so we actually have a video. Oh. <laughs> Uh, that was recorded as an example of a typical argument between you. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. <laughs> but I just need him to make a little bit more of an effort to pick up the dirty clothes and put it in the basket. Yeah, but I mean, I just did the dishes and I took out the trash and you don't acknowledge me when I do things like that. And I think that's really frustrating. I'm tired, I had a long day, and then I come home and I go and take out the trash and I do the dishes and you don't acknowledge that. You've not, it only acknowledge the things that I don't do. I don't think that's fair. And not acknowledge you leaving your clothes on the floor, even though I'm the one making sure all of your clothes are washed. Is that, that's what I'm hearing. Is that what you're saying? It's just like one pair of clothes. Like I, it's, I just go do it now. No, we, no, that's not what, okay. Okay, so this is a common problem. Okay, hold on, so hold on. Let have. me hear what, Matthew, what do you have to say? Well, for me, um, I think my wife just thinks that I'm, way too emotional all the time. And so my question to you both is, uh, what do I need to do to get her to understand where I'm coming from and to not mimic or mock me um, so that I don't shut down or that the argument gets you know, way more heated? So believe it or not, you guys are not having the same argument. You're asking him to do something and you're arguing about the fact that you don't feel acknowledged and appreciated in the relationship. So first and foremost, you have to learn effective communication. When I'm talking to you, the next thing should not be necessarily for you to respond, but to respond back with what you think you heard. That way you know that you're on the same page and that you're actually having the same conversation, okay? So it's very easy. We have a problem, we have potential solutions, and then we have to work together to decide which solution we together are going to choose. If you never get to the solution, but you keep going back to the problem, it will haunt your marriage for its entirety. You have a real issue with not feeling validated and heard. That's its own problem. How do you show up for each other and resolve that in the marriage? Then deal with the responsibilities of household chores and domestics later on. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Okay, hold on. Y'all been married eight months. Where y'all going with this? This finna get worse, man. This ain't gonna survive. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Y'all here at eight months, there's no way this can survive. Both of y'all owe yourself some apology. The Spirit says something that's really, really cool. And Marjorie and I do this all the time. When we get to a point where we just can't come to the conclusion about the argument, we slow down and we go, okay, Steve, tell me what you said and I'm gonna tell you what I heard. And whenever we do that, what she said is not what I heard. Mm. And what I said is not what she heard. Now, she always, she always has to tell me, Steve, don't raise your voice at me. I don't work for you. She checks me real quick. And I got to remember, she my queen. So why am I hollering at the queen? Mm. Mm. Okay. I wish y'all would. Thank you, Belinda Matthew. Hey, stick around, folks. We got some more couples. We gonna help fight fair when we come back. Don't go away. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.